last week on The Season. It's one of the things we have to prove a point on all the time because, you know, everybody looks at us like we're a smaller state and it's always out there. You got to go out there every Saturday to show people what we got. If a kid from uh, small town Mississippi, Ludlow, Mississippi, Dirt Road, can make it to the NFL, then I know that any kid in Mississippi can do. And one of the best decisions for me was going to the University of Mississippi. Not only did it allow me to play football, but it allowed me to be able to pursue an education. Getting to this game, the more physical team is going to win it. I think you got to have your mindset ready for that. We talked about them yesterday being a hard-nosed, scrappy team. We got to go match that. Let's go. Stay within the system. BJR tonight. BJR. Plumley. End zone. Touchdown, Scotty Phillips. Give it to me, baby. 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Jalen Jones lines up to return kicks. Only one word comes to mind. Touchdown every time. Touchdown. Without a doubt in my mind, he is the best returner in the nation. Oh, <laughs> to the crib. <laughs> Touchdown every time. All right, Jay Jones. Hit one. Hatfield will kick off and back to receive for Ole Miss is Jones. He'll take it at the 8. Comes up the right hash, 20. Breaks in the clear, the 25, 30, 35, the sidelines. He may go! In five! Touchdown! Jalen Jones takes it to the house on the kickoff. His second of his career. Boy, that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Every time they kick it to you to the crib. Here's the snap. Looks to throw, quick pass, is going to be incomplete at the 28. Then Jalen Jones with a stick. Just as quick as Jones's speed can change a game, one wrong turn can change the course of a season. Now first down, over the middle, caught at the 15, angling to the far side, tackle to the 10 yard line. Rebel down on the other side. I believe it's Jalen Jones shaking up. And I just seen Jay Jones laying on the ground. I'm like, like, nah bro, get up bro, like you good, like. Let's shake it out, bro. You probably just got a little stinker. Then, like, I seen him grab his knee. I just remember Coach Luke. I don't even think he said anything. I just remember him looking. A guy like me, I don't like attention like that, just how everybody came over. I didn't want it to be as bad as it was. Coming out injury situation, Jalen Jones, um, he, he does have a torn ACL. We got the, uh, uh, the MRI back. He'll have surgery on Friday. Today, Monday, Friday, we do this machine called BFR. Not my best friend, but uh, definitely gets me better. It squeezes the hell out of your leg, and then <laughs> that's all I know. That you gotta work out with it. Uh, it's the best part right here. What's that? This rest break. It's not <laughs> squeezing, but we only get one minute. <laughs> See how quick that minute went by? He had just turned it on. It's already 10 seconds. How did you defeat it? It's work. Are you defeated? No, sir. I don't know what that means. Yeah, people that lie down are defeated. I ain't lying down. You know, I got the extra juice for the last one. But you never seen his attitude change. You never seen him like hang his head or be like ask people like, why me? Why me? He was just he just attacked the off season, you know. So he's never let the injury beat him. He's more like he's more beating the injury than it's beating him. I think the challenge is to keep yourself integrated with the team. You know, you can't do the physical part, but I can do the walkthrough. You know, once I bet. I went to every rep. You went to every rep. That's bold. Now. That's bold. You know all lies on you since you said that, right? Demar said he ain't gonna lose no reps. We gonna see. Got this one. We ain't bet, but I'm D block. I'm part of D block, so it's kind of disrespect. I'm on that. I'm on that. I need it. 
Need it! I secured that. He didn't win a round! Soon enough, Jalen Jones found himself back where he felt at home, on the gridiron. Patrick Taylor in the Wildcat is going to run right, and he's in trouble and dropped back at the 29, a loss of two, as Jalen Jones came up to make the stop. They're going to go for it here on fourth and short. Coxie makes the catch, couldn't make the move, and a great open field tackle on the play by Jalen Jones. Let's go! Hicks fires the outside. Great coverage by Jalen Jones, a junior from Allen, Texas. Right on the hip pocket there of the receiver for Arkansas and uh, simply made a great defensive play. Only a sixth completion. There's his seventh, and that ill-advised. Knox goes down. Just got a home win, man. The fence is good. This is the man right here. Good job, good job. Got my peanut butter and jelly. Now it's time to go read to these kids. I was one of those kids that couldn't sit still, you know. When somebody came to read, I was always trying to figure out what kind of shoes they had on, try to untie their shoes and stuff like that. So I remember I was, I was one of those kids that the teacher always had to look out for. Miles, sit down. How you doing? How you doing? How's everybody doing? I'm Miles. I play at Ole Miss. I'm, Miles. Yeah. I, I Hey, Duncan, it's me, Ray Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. Anybody know what this is? A fire truck. There's a, there's a fire truck station here in Austin. Yeah, they did. Do we have any drawers in here? Does anybody I like to draw? Yeah. I didn't draw. I'm an artist. You're an artist? Nice. Anybody own a camera? I do. You guys own phones? You guys have cell phones? I do. Wow. <laughs> she asks you for some syrup. She'll want a pancake to go with it. Who, so raise your hand if you like pancakes. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked. <laughs> How many people think it's gonna be a rainbow? Raise your hand. Me. Me. Oh, me. You going with me? Okay. Here we go. Let's see what it is. I'm gonna peek real quick. I'm gonna peek. I'm gonna take a peek. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, <laughs> those are all the colors. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring. One, two, three. Cheese. 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 All right, now you can do silly. Silly? Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> what did you do? I did this. You did that? Nice to meet you. I did this. I did this. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet y'all. Nice to meet y'all. Nice to meet y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Huggies. Huggies. You just see how much they support us on game day, and you just want to show them that we appreciate them and be able to come into their environment and do, do things that they want to do, you know. School is very important, you know, me who just walked and have three classes left, um, so I just want the next generation to understand that school is important and just keep going to school and understand that sports isn't everything and you got to keep doing what you got to do. I know, but it's going to be 70 degrees when we walk out here. Oh, not terrible. Dude, my own line coach in high school, he used to say before practice, it's colder than Alaska. And it'd be like 85 degrees. <laughs> it feels good today, but I don't know if it feels colder than Alaska. <laughs> you right up. Maybe. Oh! <laughs> yeah, maybe if I stand beside you, I'm gonna get to be on the season. You might get a little clout. <laughs> Weather feel like Boston yet? Boston in July. That's about what it feels like. That's how it felt for me first day of practice. 
I bet you were saying it was so hot too. You probably, you probably, hey, AG, you probably started cramping up, complaining about the heat. <laughs> You got a bee. There's a bee. Dude, I hate bees. It's another one. You got a bee on you. <laughs> what's up? What's up? All right, here. Listen to me. We, we're building. You guys can see us taking steps, right? You can see it taking steps. I saw more moment of truth this past week. I can't make it up, can I? I can't just tell you guys I saw them. You guys saw them. You guys did them. You know what I mean? That's why we. That's something to be proud of. All right. Well, let's build on it, and let's let. This is going to be a street fight now. We like that. You know what I mean? Because we, you see the playmakers we got. I've been telling you guys the whole time. All right? So get excited about it. It's going to be a nasty one now. We're going to have to go in there and be nasty. Everybody got that? All right, here we go. Let's break it down. Trenches on three. One, two, three. Trenches. Ahead of the matchup with Texas A&M, Rebel fans flocked to the square. This time, it wasn't for dinner reservations. It was for basketball. How about the year last year Kermit Davis and the Rebels had, huh? I've watched some practice. You're going to have a lot of fun this year watching that team. Obviously a great atmosphere here tonight. How important is it to have a crowd like this when you guys suited up every time at the pavilion? We need you. We need you out at our games. We need this type of crowd. We feed off of it. We need a home court advantage, and it starts with you guys. <laughs> Your kid dunk contest winner, Bryce Sun Hamilton! All right, this may be what you came to see. Ole Miss men's basketball dunk contest. We got Ole Miss and Texas A&M in football tomorrow night. Part of the broadcasting crew is here, and they will serve as our judges. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Look chill out here, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like a car. They run good when it's cold, you feel me? <laughs> Right now, you Back in Oxford at Vaught Hemingway Stadium. Cool evening, crowd growing. We've got Ole Miss and Texas A&M. Everything that we've ever been through, not just this season, but our entire career has brought us right here tonight. It's brought us in this locker room. You're not here by accident. It's brought us to this opportunity tonight. Hey, we've been working our ass off, pushing this boulder up this damn hill. Hey, if you want to get that boulder over the hill, you got to strain. And sometimes it might try to roll back on your ass. But you know what? If you dig down deep and you push, you can get it over. But here's the most important thing. The most important thing to remember in all that is you don't got to push by yourself. You don't have to push by yourself. You got a whole team that's pushing with you. Yeah. Hey, it's finally time to push that damn boulder over the hill. You understand that? It's time to do that. Mon on play action gets dropped. The O-line let two through. It's a loss of eight led by Sam Williams and the league's tackle for loss leader, Benito Jones. Mon has all day, but he sails it high. The Aggies would have to punt on their first possession and settle for a field goal on their second. So a 25-yard kick, little chip shot, it's on its way, and it is good. 
So the Rebels turn to their home run hitter to regain the lead. John Rice is going to hand it off, running left is Ely. Ely the freshman, 35, to 40, to the 40, to the 50, to the 45, 40, to the 30, to the 25, to the 20. They got an angle, and he breaks the tackle! He takes it in the end zone! Touchdown! Oh, man! We're going to the grill! Big play, Jerry and Ely, David. We talk about the fact when you put the ball in this guy's hands, he's always got an option of taking it to the house. Ely's 69-yard blast down the sideline sent the Landshark defense into a frenzy. He's looking for Osmond. Now he goes back and he throws it right to the other team. Intercepted by Ole Miss and Austrian Robinson. There's a snap. Being chased is behind the backfield. He's dropped at the 20-yard line. The Rebels brought Jalen Julius from the offside, and he got there and finished the deal. Pressure coming. Mon can't escape. He's sacked for the third time. Let's go! Let's go! I'm going playing that guitar, baby. Let's do it. Yeah! Low snap. Mon recovers over the middle. Tipped and intercepted. An old miss takeaway by Dante Evans. When the Aggies weren't being harassed by the red and blue defenders, it was a case of the almost, but not quite. And that one's leaking, and it misses wide right. But the Rebels were experiencing their own set of near misses. Now Plumley wants to throw, drops back, runs to his left, sets, fires, got a man wide open, he overthrows Braylon Sanders. Five wide, going deep again, and through the hands of Miles Battle. How many plays are y'all making right now? Because you're getting your chances over and over and over again. Plumley to throw, one-on-one, -on -one, near side. He's got more, and it's incomplete. And Texas A&M would seize the advantage late in the half. The Rebels will send three, and now bring a linebacker. It's passed down the middle to the 40. That's a big tight end. Turns, gets up field to 45, the 50. 49-yard line, quick pass far side, caught at the 35 on an out route. Mon finding his rhythm. Osmond goes to a corner route, and it's caught in the end zone for an Aggie touchdown on the outside, Kendrick Rogers. Coach Luke, you look at the scoreboard down seven to, or down three going into the half. Felt like you outplayed him for a lot of that first half. Yeah, we got to help our defense out. Some defense playing their butt off. They've been on the field too much. We had we had some opportunities to make some plays. We're just a little bit off. We got to get a got to get a rhythm going in the second half. All right, thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. We're talking about pushing that boulder up the hill. And what did I tell you? You don't have to do it by yourself. That's why we're a damn team. But remember this. Remember this. There are no shortcuts. There are no shortcuts, there is no magic wand, there is no special play. The Aggies had backed the Rebels into their corner to end the first half. Scotty Phillips and the Revs came out swinging in the second. He hands it up to Scotty Phillips, he finds a huge hole. Does he go? I told you, he go. Yep, yes sir. Phillips trying to break away. The stiff arm gets him 10 more. He that man. Thought for a moment he might take it to the house. That's to the 27 of Texas A&M, a 38-yard scamper for Scotty Phillips. Three-man rush, essentially. He'll lob it. And that is popped on the sideline by Scotty Phillips. What beautiful touch on the pass. He's got a beat for it. Either way. 2-4 or 2-2, two, two, but I want 2-2 two, two to get. There's the snap and the handoff. Right side. Touchdown. Snoop Connor. Yeah. Yeah. Straight ahead, Snoop Connor. Touchdown Ole Miss and the Rebels back in front. They put a drive together. They put a drive together. Good job, Scott. I would love you to go play receiver. Great freaking catch. Looking to extend the lead, the hosts went back to their strength. The ground game. Fakes it to Phillips, runs to his right, looks downfield, takes off running. He is slippery, he is fast. There's the handoff off the right side. First down across the 45 and all the way down to the 40 goes Snoop Connor. Showing some power there, Richard, the young freshman with a good run to get the first down. 
After six consecutive runs, Plumlee's showing pass, and he gets dropped. The ball came out, scooped up by AM. Aggies have it. It's Buddy Johnson, the former high school quarterback, and he'll take it the rest of the way. 63. With each team the struggling field. to find their footing offensively, everyone in the stadium knew one drive might change the entire outcome of the contest. From the 38, third down. And six, five wides for Texas A&M. Two to the right, the short side of the field, three to the left. Only a four-man rush. Mon's going to run the quarterback draw. He sees the opening. He's to the 30 and down to the 25. They run behind Weidemeyer, and they got a first down and more. Spiller, touchdown, Texas A&M. A Luke Logan field goal trimmed the lead to a one-score game. But a final grasp at victory would be just out of the reach of the Rebels and the visitors from Texas would leave with the ever-so-elusive SEC road win. One of the hardest things to do uh, as a coach is to stand in front of a group of young men that fought their guts out. We got four games left, we got an open date. Hey, we're gonna go get this thing right, and we're gonna go finish November. <coughs> they remember what you do in November. All right, so let's go finish strong. Hey, I don't have I don't have the words to take the pain away. I don't. I don't. You played your butt off. We came up short. That's all. That's all. That's all it is. Some things that we can do better. Let's go get it corrected in the open date. Let's get healthy. Let's go finish this thing strong because you deserve that. But I love you and I'm proud of you. But stick together. You understand what I'm saying? Stick together no matter what. All right, I love you guys and I appreciate you. We got our back. Not everybody else uh, out of the locker room. So you know, we just got to stay together. I feel like the defense did a good job. Hats off to those guys. I mean, I felt like we did a good job in the second half. We just got to find a way to win tough games down the stretch. Uh, you know, it just it was frustrating because we thought we had some things there and um, just, didn't, uh, just didn't get it done when we needed to. That was a, uh, an unbelievable atmosphere tonight, and I'm grateful for everybody showing up, walking through the Grove. It was the best, uh, best it's been since I've been here. Um, and I, I'm grateful for that. I'm sorry that uh, we came up short.